Context is something we talk about a lot when designing mobile applications, mobile interfaces, mobile services, mobile phones. But somehow it never really is understandable by a lot of people. They go, what do you mean context? And we end up with this long explanation or examples or something like that. And I think it's because everybody's used to the desktop. Context on the desktop computer means this window is in front and this window is kind of behind it. But that's all it means, because the rest of the time I'm sitting there facing my computer. There's lights, the computer's here, the keyboard's here, the mouse, or whatever you have is over here. So, a lot of people talk about mobile as being little glowing rectangles. But I think that frames the argument wrong, because little isn't the key aspect of it. That's, and it still makes it a glowing rectangle, just like your desktop computer screen. What's different on mobile is this. I'm walking on the street, I'm in a restaurant with my friends, I'm riding in the car, I'm watching TV, and I decide, who's that guy? I recognize him from somewhere. I don't go get, a, go get a computer and figure it out or just not do it. I can grab my phone, look it up anytime I want to. Mobile's contextual in that it works wherever you are, whenever you are, in your social environment, in the rest of your life, with other media, with anything else you're doing. The reason context is important is that we live it all the time when you're walking down the street or driving to this county office building, for example. So even without your phone, you can consider con you can understand context with analogies like driving down the street trying to understand road signs. This building behind me, behind us over here, is the um, county building where you get certain certificates and like get your new license plate and stuff. People come here maybe once a year at the most. They come down that from the highway down this road and see a parking lot. They find the building and they turn in and see this sign. Do not enter. Restricted parking. Over there is something that warns you sheriff's parking only. But how do they know that? because it's not contextually labeled. The sign's not facing down the street the way they're going. It only, it's perpendicular to the parking lot because it lined up nicely or the guys putting the, the signs up didn't think about it or it looked pretty at the time or something. So if you don't think about your mobile designs contextually, you're gonna do the same thing. And you're gonna do stuff that's convenient to the way you build, to the way the data structures come from some legacy system because you're designing it on a desktop computer and you don't think about lighting conditions and the fact that people might be using it while walking or riding in a car or a bus and it vibrates and you make the market too small and so forth. You have to consider the way people actually use their products or you'll end up with signs facing the wrong way and people turn in and panic and come flying back out or people misuse your product and frustration means they don't, they stop visiting, stop buying. Think contextually, try your products in real life, use emulation tools if you need to, but try to get things on the actual phones and see what they work like. Out in the sun, at night before you go to bed, riding around in cars, take the bus. Think about your users, think contextually.